something very special for you guys, and it's all natural, and uh, you guys can get some of the same action in the future without drugs, and you can stay drug free, all right? It's important for me to keep dr uh, kids drug free in the future, and then I think in the long run, society would be a better place for all of us to live in if uh, it's a drug free society. Today was the day when some lucky kids at Kailua Intermediate School found out that James Thompson is one of the only folks around who's skipping his way towards a drug-free world. Yep, he's a no-hope and doper, but he doesn't have a hard sell. As a matter of fact, you might say he has a light-on-his-feet approach. There's something I call a sugar ray limit. When I was in high school, the coach made us jump rope uh, to stay in shape for basketball. And I told him, I said, Coach, we're not jump roping because that's for sissies. And he said, well, if you don't jump rope every day before basketball practice, I'm going to make you guys do extra line drills after practice. I said, Coach, I don't want to do any line drills. Give me that jump rope. Actually, that quick-wristed hobby carried him away over the years. For the last decade, James has been traveling the world with his incredible professional rope-skipping antics. With more than 100 tricks tied up in his high-hopping repertoire, this multifaceted jumper says that jumping rope is one of the best forms of exercise. So if you got racket balls, go home and try Jumping rope gives you hand and eye dexterity, hand and eye coordination, rhythm, timing, agility, flexibility, explosion, uh, a little bit of everything, um, adaptability. Uh, so, hey, pick up a jump rope. James, the jump rope is mostly just a sideline. You see, most of the time, he's a juvenile counselor in California who does a little movie acting, sometimes with his ventriloquist act, and working on his world-class judo and wrestling technique. I guess any free time is left for honing his hopping skills and sharing them with kids. The reason why I like working with kids so much is because you can do some things with them at a young age that will last a lifetime with them. And if you can just put a little message in their head at a young age, hey, future be bright for all of us. Get away from me. No hope and dope. Get them drugs out of my face. Get them out of my face. But for James, there's no trick hard enough and no stunt crazy enough when there are kids around. Jump on the back, piggyback. Even if it means hoisting 275 extra pounds of Hawaii's finest on his shoulders. If the kids like it, no problem. <laughs> I like it when the kids really have fun and they really enjoy what I'm doing. And uh, you can see the smile on my face whenever I do some of the more dangerous tricks and the harder tricks. But uh, hey, I'm enjoying myself. And, and, I, and when I see the kids enjoying themselves and really having a good time, hey, it makes it all work. Hold tight, cross your legs over To wrap it all up, James demonstrates how one man can jump for four people. Okay, hold on tight. It, the kids love it, and if it helps kids skip drugs, then it certainly is worth it. On Oahu's north shore, the part the natives call the windward side, the pace of life remains untouched by the constant crush of tourists. Kailua Beach is sheltered, shallow, and sandy. It seems a world away from the bustle of Honolulu, but drugs have washed up on these beaches as well. Used as the set for the Magnum P.I. TV series, it's a place of immense natural beauty and private plantations. But beneath the misted mountains is a well-entrenched criminal element. The children, or keikis as Hawaiian kids are known, grow up surrounded by a paradise that was drowning in Pakalolo, Hawaiian marijuana, and more recently the drug ice. The smokable form of crystal methamphetamine has claimed more than two dozen Hawaiian lives and shattered the dreams